Ah, g'day again, John Allen Tunage here in uh, Melbourne, Australia. Um, yeah, time to do a uh, fines video, or part one of it. Um, yeah, we had a uh, record fair that was at Box Hill um, a couple of weeks ago, 28th of May. Now, it's one of the big ones we have here in Melbourne. It happens four times a year, and it's a really good place to find sort of unusual and rare stuff and whatever. So, yeah, take a deep, deep wallet, though, because sometimes some of the stuff's pretty expensive. But, uh, yeah, went to that, and, of course, um, yeah, felt crook a couple of days later, and, um, yeah, I was supposed to do a video, like, early last week, and just wasn't feeling it. And then, um, me, yeah, Mrs. D had tested me and up for the old good old COVID, and came up negative, so I thought, fair enough, it's probably just the stress of, you know, looking for records and concentrating and that sort of thing. But then a couple of days after that, she started feeling crook, and when she tested herself, uh, she got the dreaded double line. <laughs> so she retested me and I got the same thing. So yeah, so we're both COVID positive as of last week. Um, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. It, it's, yeah, just sort of got a bit of a, um, yeah, your sort of body clock or your temperatures don't work that well. Um, I've still got the sense of smell, that's okay. And the beer sort of tastes a little bit different. So maybe something's happened there. Um, but yeah, Mrs. D isn't uh, doing too well. <laughs> she's not that impressed at the moment. She's hiding in her bedroom and whatever. Um, but yeah, where she works, she's they're pretty strict on that sort of thing. So yeah, she's definitely got to stay away for at least a week and maybe longer. Um, but yeah, other than that, I feel fine. So I thought, yeah, better get back on to doing the videos because I had a yeah fair few finds at the uh, Box Hill Fair. And um, I think I'll start with the uh, 7 inches this video and I'll probably get on to the 12s and uh, LPs uh, on another one. Um, but yeah, what I sort of got there, as, as I said, it was a, yeah one of those ones where you go there, every four it's not far away from where I live, so it was yeah pretty easy to get to. And um, yes, all the 7 inch vinyl I got was uh, the first one I'll show is uh, the MacArthur Park 7 inch from Richard Harris. The well-known actor, and that's on a Australian uh, picture sleeve from I think this is what 68, 968. And apparently this one hadn't been on Discogs until I put it in, so that's yeah, slightly different version to the the ones they've got there. Yeah, stateside or EMI. So yeah, we we I remember listening to this as a kid. Yeah, I was on a album. I think uh, Mum and Dad had that. Uh, it was a Tramp Shining or something. I can't remember what it's called. I've got it, but yeah, I just. Don't remember it offhand, but yeah, brilliant song that. Yeah, MacArthur Park from Richard Harris. And another one from back then was What's Wrong With The Way I Live? The Way I Do My Time, the, by The Twilights. And of course, The Twilights had uh, Glenn Shorrock in it, who famously went on to Little River Band and very successful in that. And yeah, back then, a lot of these records are just in plain sleeves. This is like the Columbia EMI one. So, yeah, what's wrong with the way I live, the way I do my... And I think that was supposed to be... The, that was going to be their big breakthrough song. But apparently, I think, is it the Hollies that, that also did a version? Of course, that swamped this one. And so, yeah, the poor old Twilights, they fizzled out after that because they went over to England and tried to get a successful career over there. But, yeah, it didn't turn out too well for them. But, yeah, brilliant track, that. I really like it. So, yeah, the Twilights and what's wrong with the way I live. And another one that I had from my childhood was this one by Red House. And it is called I Like Dancing. I don't know how many people will remember this. I think it's 76. That's the EMI with the little Rue. For ACDC fans, that's quite a very successful thing to have on your Albert's pressings. But that's, yeah, this is, oh yeah, I'm pretty, like I said, 1976. And I Like Dancing. And it's like, I like doing this, I like doing that, whatever. Show me how it's done, yeah, yeah, whatever. And I actually found the the vinyl uh, album of this as well, but this is the single. And it was, yeah, as I said, it's called I Like Dancing by the Aussie group Red House. Uh, this one I got, um, I didn't know how rare it was until I got home and checked. I was pleasantly shocked. But that's um, the New Zealand uh, hip-hop sort of urban chilled group called OMC. And um, it is called, yeah, How Bizarre. They had a song called How Bizarre. Yeah, they're cruising around in a car and they're all chilled and whatever. Really love them. Um, I'm trying to find the album, but it's 
It's been reissued, but even that, I still can't find that one. But this is the single that came out called Our How Bizarre. And I think it's it's definitely not Australian because it's got the big centre hole and that sort of, um, what do they call that, a moulded injection label or something. But this is, um, yeah, I think it's um, English. Yeah, somebody paid two ninety nine. I paid seven for this, I remember it. And then somebody paid two ninety nine for this one. Yeah, I, I had no idea it even was out there. I just saw it in a bunch of singles and went, oh, I know that. I know that song. So I, and I went home and checked it out. And it's worth about 60 bucks Australian on, av on average for the, um, or median, for that song. But yeah, so that was a nice one to find. And yeah, adding to the Spy vs. Spy collection, um, Aussie Indie. And this is the Clear Skies uh, 7 inch. Uh, yeah, they're on WEA. Uh, another one I needed was the Falling Joys. This is the Nearly a Sin uh, 7 inch with a beautiful symmetry artwork, which of course I adore and love those sort of ones. Yeah, Susie Higgy, brilliant. Love her voice. It's a pity they didn't do more stuff, but yeah. So there it's on uh, Violition. What's this? Probably late-ish, yeah, pretty late 80s. And a band that I've sort of recently found out about thanks to reading some stuff about the Go-Betweens. And that was the, this is a band called Chad's Tree. And it's called Sweet Jesus Blue Eyes is the A-side. And it's um, like an indie label. Somebody's handwritten an A there. That's not, not such a bad thing. And yeah, and uh, the Snarskies, which I've got actually their book, or Rob Snarsky's got a book out apparently. I've got it, I haven't read it yet, but yeah, there's Rob Snarsky and Mark Snarsky that were, this is 19, oh, this would be early-ish 80s, I think. And the, the key name here is Amanda Brown, who is playing violin in this. And uh, of course, she went on to the go-betweens and did quite a had a quite a successful career with them of course so that's um a band that i've just got into is uh chad's tree uh this is a bit of fun um i don't remember it at the time but i know the the two characters in it and this is a uh, they're called the big boys and built for comfort i ain't built for speed and of course the big boys were jonathan coleman who was uh one half of john owen dana though he was a famous guy in the 1980s in probably more more in sydney but yeah the radio show went into melbourne and ricky may he was like a what you call it a band leader or one of those sort of big band guys and yeah literally larger than life guy he was on a show called hey out saturday here in melbourne i remember in the sort of 1980s Yeah, Built for Comfort, and I Ain't Built for Speed. I can't remember, it's apparently a cover version of somebody had already done it, but yeah, I haven't done my research yet, sorry, but that's, um, yeah, good one to find that, those sort of quirky Aussie singles. I love grabbing them and adding them to the collection. And another group that I've recently found out about it was a group called Boys, and this is We All, We All, We All. And, um, yeah, as it says, yeah, Parole, Festival. I think they're a Perth band, very early 1980s, on the uh, Parole label. And the actual insert, or whatever it's called, is a sticker. So that was a yeah, interesting thing to find out. And lucky it's, it's still complete. Yeah, it's like a promo, as you can see on the back there, yeah, it's just a promo sticker. Uh, another one, yeah, another one of these uh, local Aussies that I found out about was uh, La Femme. And this is I Don't Want, yeah, I Don't Want to Go Home on the 7 label, which was, yes, Channel 7 is still a uh, current TV station here in Australia, of course, and it affiliated with Missing Link. And this is, um, yeah, one of their songs that I got. And the other one of the La Femme, which is actually on a picture sleeve or an insert, I think it's just like a folded over uh, card sleeve, and that is the uh, Chelsea Kids. And that is fully on the Missy Link Ale uh, label. So this is probably very early 80s, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, I've got to do a bit more research and find out a bit more about them, but... Yeah, these sort of things don't show up all that often, so when you get a chance to grab them, you grab them. So that's uh, the yeah, an Aussie band, La Femme. 
Ah, uh, this one is uh, one of those classic uh, ones from the 70s. Uh, Coloured Balls and Love You Babe. This is the, yeah, most of these are just generic sleeves on the EMI label with the little rue there. And of course Lobby Lloyd uh, was in the Coloured Balls. Yeah, one of those skinhead skinhead bands of the 70s. I sort of wasn't into all that sort of stuff, but... Yeah, massive respect for Lobby Lords. Anything, anything that he's been in, I'm sort of trying to chase up. So that's a very nice condition uh, single for that one. Uh, this is one I remember as a kid. Um, yeah, mum and dad had one of these, had this song on a compilation album, I think, and that's uh, George Baker selection. And Little Green Bag. And I wonder what that's all about. I didn't know then, and I think I know now, though. But yeah, so that's a nice, uh, yeah, nice copy of that one for them. Uh, they were a Dutch band, I think, from memory. So, yeah, George Baker Selection and Little Green Bag. Uh, this is a good one to find because it is damn expensive and very hard to get. And this is uh, Lipstick Killers. Uh, Oz Indy and uh, Hindu Gods of Love. Love that song. It's in the Ossian Space label. Yeah, I'd missed out on a copy that was... A lot more expensive than this one, and I was very pleased to find this in a, somebody's collection at the uh, record fair. So yeah, Hindu Gods of Love from Lipstick Killers. And then a bit more indie stuff that I like, and the Eastern Dark. Uh, this is the only 7-inch, but this one, yeah, it's Johnny and Dee Dee, and Julie is a Junkie. Uh, I think that's, I know that song reasonably well. Yeah, they're on the Waterfront label. And there's, yeah, the, ah, oh, they were a Sydney band, I think. So there they are there. And what, what you know, with this one, there's four different versions of the, the colours. Um, there's, yeah, different, different colour versions, like it's green, yellow and blue, but there's four other types of that, but it's all the same song, so you really only need one for the collection. And some more indie stuff, Exploding White Mice. And this is I uh, Just Want My Fun. And the interesting thing, yeah, this was the coloured version. It's like a nice purple label. Nice purple uh, vinyl, sorry. And the label is, um, yeah, that's Greasy Pop Records, which was the Adelaide one, 1980s. So, yeah, this is the sort of stuff I love trying to find. And once again, uh, Harem Scarum. Uh, one of those bands I'm trying to get all the singles and whatnot from. And this is the 7 Inch for Hard Rain. And there's the Orgogo label. And yeah, Falling Fish or whatever. So that probably counts as Hard Rain. But yeah, these sort of things I really like trying to find. And this was an Aussie lady that had a reasonable career. But yeah, probably could have done a bit better. And that's Jane Clifton. And this is the song she did, Girl on a Wall. Which is a really good sort of feminine identity, what's expected of them sort of song. Really like it. Um, God, is this 84, I think? Yeah. Mushroom Label, Gadinsky's one. Yeah, Girl in the Mirror isn't the same as the Girl on the Wall. Um, really like it. So that's another one to find. And she had done some stuff with this guy, which is um, Jojo Zepp, or Jojo... This is when he was Jojo Zepp in the Falcons. With Jane Clifton, he did... They did a really well-known song called Taxi Mary, probably very early 80s. Uh, but this is one of Jojo Zepp's ones and Shape I'm In with a different, yeah, quite a avant-garde fluoro cover and the early-ish uh, Mushroom label. So, God, what year is this one? Very early 80s, I think. Yeah, Shape I'm In. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, another one for the Jojo Zepp collection. Uh, this was a challenging one to find and finally got a copy, and that's the Little Murders, which is one of the bands of uh, Rob Griffiths. And once again, there's an all go go uh, one. Yeah, there it is. Rob Griffiths was the vocalist. Yeah, he's on, you can look him up on YouTube. He's fair, the stuff's sort of um, pretty well recorded which is good because it yeah because i don't want to do all the copyright issues and stuff yeah it's like a fold over sleeve but yeah the original these are pretty hard to find and that's quite a nice one and when they when he redid the 
CD um, of Little Murders. He had like a compilation CD and they used this picture, but that's a brilliant picture, that one. So yeah, glad to get a nice original seven inch of that. Ah, uh, the good old mentals. Love the mentals. And I just didn't have this for some reason. And so I jumped onto it. And that's the uh, Sloppy Croc. I think this is just an instrumental from memory out of the uh, Hogan's, uh, Paul Hogan's incredible film, The uh, Crocodile Dundee. Absolutely went to town on that one. And it's probably still, yeah, still getting the coin from that. But magnificent. But I think, yeah, as I said, I think it's an instrument. Instrumental, yeah, Sloppy Croc and Sloppier Croc from Crocodile Dundee. And they're on the CBS. Um, yeah, this is one of those ones that you've got to have is the Triffids and Wide Open Road. Uh, Aussie classic song, that is. Yeah, really adore, adore that. And what are they on the uh, White Hot label? So, to, yeah, to get a nice, beautiful, original condition and uh, one of that, very pleased to get... And then a bit of uh, the beast, a bit scungier, grungier sound. And this is the Psycho that I remember that. Oh, dude. something about Mama, da 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 da. Yeah, <laughs> really like it. So that's uh, one. I think the original one's got a green label. Um, but this is the red eye version. As there you go, you get the nice uh, red eye label on the other side. And this one, luckily, still had the insert. And there's all the guys there. So, yeah, you got Kim Salmon, you got Spencer, uh, James Baker, Boris Subjevic, and Tex Perkins. So, yeah, to get the little inserts like that's a key because most of them disappear over time. So, that's one of those ones where you get everything. And, of course, Kim Salmon. Um, I've actually just read his book, which was really good read. There you go. There's Kim Salmon, uh, Formula for Grunge. Well, yeah, he outgrunged grunge, of course, and... There's a face only a mother could love. So, yeah, that was a really good read. So, thanks for that. And, of course, he was also in The Scientists. And there's Atom Bomb Baby on the Orgogo label. That's another one that I just didn't have. So, yeah, happy to find that. And last but not least was, of the Sevens was um, The Saints and Ghost Ships. Uh, of course, with Chris Bailey, uh, Coops had left by then. Um, oh, God, I can't remember the album. This one was off, to be honest. It's mid-ish 80s, but Ghost Ships is a brilliant song and a fantastic video. Like, okay, you might have think they are. Oh, they went a bit soft and bland after, you know, um, the early, early, couple of early Saints albums, but they've still got some good stuff and well worth chasing up. So, yeah, respect to you, Chris Bailey, R.I.P., but, yeah, this is a really good song, Ghost Ships by The Saints. Ah, so there it is. There's the uh, first lot of stuff that I'll put in. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll better do a 12-inch and vinyl version before I put them all into the collection and mix them all up and not know what I got. But, yeah, it was a really good um, uh, fair to go to. Yeah, pity the uh, COVID uh, caught me out and poor old Mrs. D as well, which is probably the worst thing. But, uh, yeah, that's the way things go. But, yeah, for everybody to watch, thanks very much, and I'll catch you later.